Now we are in the middle of the small village called Tvååker. Tvååker means two fields in English and there are actually two stories behind this name. The first one is that it was one field on the left side of the church and one on the right side of the church. Very simple, makes, makes sense, right? Uh, the other story is more interesting and um, Tvååker used to be spelled Tvååker in, in the 12th century, I mean a long time ago. And Tu, not tu, tu means flax in English. So it's actually flax field that we're in. I see no flax anywhere. I've seen corn, wheat, and, and a lot of other crops, but no, no flax. And the reason why we are here in Tvååker is because tomorrow morning we'll be shooting geese. There will be a lot of greylags and Canadians. And this morning we saw about 1,000 geese on the same field that we will be hunting on tomorrow. And if they're there tonight as well, they will surely come back tomorrow morning. But I'm in the right place to pray for the rain to go away because we don't want to hunt in rain. It doesn't make a good hunt. I can't wait until dawn because tomorrow morning at 3 o'clock we'll be gathering on the field, putting a decoy, some blinds and just wait, wait, wait for the geese to come. I'm so thrilled. <laughs> These preparations are as exciting as the hunt itself. The blinds are heading that way, which would be west. Okay, yeah, they'll be coming from the west, of course, since the ocean is that direction. So the sun will be in our back, which is nice. Last year when we were hunting, um, they came uh, from the east which made it really difficult to film the hunt because you got blinded by the sun. Grey goose. Oh. This is pure science, placing them exactly as they would stand if they were alive. I have absolutely no clue. But these guys are pros, so they They've studied the geese. We have about 100 decoys. That's a pretty large number. Now, all the decoys are in place. I don't know why I'm whispering because the, the geese can't hear us very well. Now I'm gonna mount my aim point. And why we have these aim points on is because when you lift your gun, sometimes you have hay on your barrel, which means you can't see the bird. So the aim point makes this, the, the sight a little higher, um, which is good when you got hay on your barrel. We've got about half an hour before we have to crawl down into our blinds, um, which are so camouflaged. They absolutely blend in perfectly. If I was a goose, I wouldn't have a clue. I'd be dead. Yep. Okay, so I'll just place this where I want it to be. So the aim points mounted and also is the, um, the shot cam, which is a really cool camera to put on. It films in slow-mo and um, with a zoom, so you can really get a nice view of the, uh, of the bird flying or being shot. It's really important that you cover all the blind with, um, with straw because the geese, especially the grey goose, is very sensitive and really observant. So any small little flaw will, will expire you, will, will make them turn around and go away. So you have to be really covered. Luckily, we have loads of straw on the ground. This is the first time I ever tried one of these. Let's see how it works. Simon is 
been using one for a couple of years now and is very, very satisfied. Ibuprofen and Tramadol, or Ultram, as some I call it. This is for my shoulder. I fell on my bike the other day, last week, and landed on my shoulder on a quite big rock. Uh, and I thought it was broken, but I had an x-ray done. But, and um, it was totally fine on the inside, but it hurts a lot. I was, I was so worried that this season would just go down the drain and I wasn't going to be able to shoot anymore, but I could. I tried it the other day. I shot some pigeons and it worked just fine. Although I have no strength to lift things, but shooting is just fine. And that's, that's good enough for me. I think we're getting, I mean, almost ready. I think that birds will be coming in any minute. And uh, yesterday on this very field, there were about thousand geese. So, um, They'll be coming in this morning as well to the same field, hopefully, and just be landing right about here. We are exactly one and a half hours south of Gothenburg in Sweden, and we are on this little field, or actually quite big field, to shoot grey lags and Canadians. We're talking about geese. And the man who will be guiding us today is called Simon, and he's standing right here beside me. Good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you too. It's nice to have you guys here. Yeah, thanks. Uh, we, were here, we were here last year and uh, we had a really terrific day. We shot, was it 90 uh, or yeah, 100? 90. 90. 90 geese in about four hours, three people. So it was really fantastic. And it was warm and it was sunny. We wore t-shirts. Or maybe I had a shirt. Never mind. Anyway, uh, what do you think about this day? What do you think? I mean. We've got clouds today, which is better film-wise because we won't get any reflections into the camera and we got the sun coming up in our backs. Yeah, we have a really nice uh, sunrise. Mm -hmm. We have a good wind, mm -hmm. so the geese can use the wind to land exactly. just in front of us, uh, hopefully. Uh, and um, I think and the weather conditions are great. Mm -hmm. We have and wind and we have clouds and we have a nice sunset for us to enjoy. Yeah, uh, sunrise. Oh sunrise uh, cool. which is over there it's yeah. absolutely amazing and the geese will be coming from the west from the ocean those are seagulls as well yeah yep exactly i think All right. we and have a couple of minutes before the geese arrive okay and yesterday on this field there were about thousand geese. Yeah, yeah thousand or more it's yeah. hard to count oh. when there's those big numbers of geese yeah it's <laughs> hard to see if it's thousand or uh, mm. 1200 or something. but there were a lot yeah a yeah. lot of geese mm. Definitely. So uh, we're hoping for a really, really, really good hunt. And you've been hunting like how many times this year already? I think we are up on a sixth hunt or something. Okay, like okay. That. And those have been yeah, those good have been ones. Amazing hunts. Yeah. Okay. So, and you shot about how many each hunt? We have bagged between 50 and 120. That's a good bag. So we'll see how this morning yeah. goes. Yeah. If they come at all, have you ever, have you ever, have you ever been standing on a, on a field and every everything has been prepared and laid out and no geese yeah, have arrived? We, we have. Yeah. When the geese decide they don't want to land here anymore, mm -hmm. they just fly into another field and mm -hmm. you don't even see them. No. You're just standing okay. there and hop. <laughs> yep. Well, pack your things. Yeah. So, okay. Of course, that's how happened. Uh, but, um, uh. Let's hope for the best this yeah, morning. Yeah, not today, not today. Can you imagine thousand geese on a field, how much damage they will do? Although it's been harvested already, so they <laughs> might not. But when the crop is unharvested, uh, how much damage they, they actually do? It depends on which crop it is, uh, if it's grass or if it's wheat and so on. Oh, okay. They are doing a lot of damage. Mm. There are a lot of numbers and countings mm. and so on, mm. but it's hard to tell exactly how much. But they are doing a lot of damage when there are those big numbers of geese. Yeah, uh, I bet. Especially when mm -hmm. it's not harvested mm -hmm. or in grass yeah. and so on. So we'll, we will just be standing here until we see the yeah, first until, flock. Until yeah. we see them. And then... And uh, they are here right now. So yeah, we are exactly. Lay down. Yeah. <laughs> 
those four. Yep. Be ready. Barnacles above us. Wait, wait, wait. Good work guys, great. Did you see them all land down here? One, two. This is so much fun. Yeah, more coming in, a lot more, a lot more. Okay. Be ready guys. I'm so ready. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be something else. Yep! Oh my god, there are so many on their way. At least another hundred. Barnacle. Those are barnacles. How can you tell? Uh, the amount of geese, the rhythm of the wings, but especially the sounds. Okay, they fly like crows more. Yeah, exactly. In big flops and not these straight lines. My heart's beating so fast right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. My pulse is, I can feel my blood just jumping through my veins. It doesn't have time to flow. You just give me a sign, baby. Fuck. Fuck. Good one. Oh my god, okay. What are these hell? Okay, I'll wait them out. It's really important that you pick up the dead birds lying on the ground as soon as possible for two reasons. First of all, dead birds frighten the incoming ones that will turn around and leave. Second of all, you can use the dead birds as decoys. Clever, huh? Let's say we weren't hunting, it would still be so much fun and so exciting to come this close to the animals, to the birds. It's pretty amazing really that you can lay here and watch them, how they behave, how they fly, how they sound. Okay. Be ready now, be ready. All right.
And now it's starting to rain. More coming in from the left. Yeah, we need to pick those up. Yeah, bring them in. Uh, 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 like Ted Kennedy, I've decided to remain here in Boston. Okay, we got a, a big flock coming in from the left. There must be about 20. Yeah, a huge flock is coming here right now. By the way, those pills are finally kicking in. I feel great now. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> yeah! And triple A. Shot, lock out. Good shooting, boys. How are you doing, bro? Tom, well done. Oh, thank you, man. Fan, vad dåligt skjutet. Oh, look at this one. I couldn't shoot any. They were above you. So these decoys are, um, they must be fantastic because, I mean, you're a great caller. You're absolutely amazing. Simon here has, he's got like five different calls. Yeah, uh, I think five or six. Yeah, okay. For gray lags, Canadians. For, no, for different ducks. Uh, okay, okay, okay. For barnacles and mm -hmm. so on. Mm -hmm. uh, it depends on what we're going to hunt. Mm -hmm. If we hunt gray lags, I use the gray lag call. If, I, if we hunt Canadians, yep. I use the Canadian. Of course, yeah. And, and so on. And they also see these uh, beautiful decoys, which are made in uh, Denmark by a company called DK Way. D DK Way, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So we're using them because they are having a great quality. Yeah, really good quality. Hard plastics and fully flocked. Exactly, uh, exactly. So they don't shine. No, exactly. And they also, I mean, they, you can you can literally stand on them, right? Yeah. Without breaking them. I mean, it's really impossible to break them. So I'm going to actually sit on this one. H how do you feel uh, after this hunt? How, are you satisfied? I mean, did you have bigger expectations? Uh, with uh, if, if you take a look at the morning, I'm really satisfied mm -hmm. because the geese didn't want to land here for the first place. So yeah. when I started calling them, they came, but, yeah. but they had their sights on another field. Yeah. Uh, I could notice that directly. Yeah. So uh, they were trying to fly over us, but 
they couldn't resist when I started calling. They saw all the decoys and so on. They wanted to go down mm -hmm. and land. Mm -hmm. And so, they did. Yeah, and they did. Yeah. So I'm really satisfied yeah, with the results too. because we, we hunted them. They yeah. weren't just going directly towards us. We exactly. Need, you called to, them in. Yeah, we needed to do things to get them down. You uh, did yeah. things. So um, I'm how, very satisfied with that. Yeah. How long have you been practicing your, your uh, calling methods? How long have you been... I think I am up in five or six years. Yeah. Now. So um, qu quite many years. Yeah. And you can spot the difference between barnacles, grey lags and Canadians from quite far away, right? Yeah, five, six, seven hundred meters. That ain't a problem. That, that's amazing. Uh, so the grey lags fly higher than the yeah. Canadians? Uh, much higher. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and they are smaller also. Smaller, uh, have a faster uh, wing rhythm mm -hmm. uh, than the Canadians. The Canadians are more low. Yeah. They are more slower. slower. You, yeah. you can uh, see that they yeah. are slower. Yeah, they're from, heavier. Yeah. yeah. But the barnacles also fly yeah. very... <laughs> very fast. Yeah. And, uh, but often in very, very big numbers. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And they're flying... Mm -hmm. Not on a, on a straight line or a... Um, no, yeah, I they saw are that, just yeah. all over. Yeah. So, uh, it's quite easy to see that, uh, mm -hmm. the differences between the different kinds of mm -hmm. geese. Mm -hmm. Quite interesting. Mm -hmm. How do you know how to place these decoys? How do you know... I mean, because the, the grey lags are, are at the far ends and the, you have the, uh, the Canadians in the middle. Yeah, uh, for this hunt we wanted the Canadians to go as close at us as possible. Okay. So therefore we had the Canadians uh, right between... Uh, us and the place that we want the geese. Yeah. So the Canadians aim uh, for us. Okay, uh, okay, okay. We mm -hmm. have the Canadians mm -hmm. just in front of us, mm -hmm. so they aim for us. So we can go get as mm -hmm. good opportunities to shoot them uh -huh. as possible. And the grey lags in the flanks, because uh, we know that it's the geese are often circling. The okay. grey lags are circling. Okay. Uh, so okay. we can get more opportunities okay. to shoot them. So the Canadians come more Canadians straight? Canadians go straight down, okay. the grey lags are circling. Okay, that's And therefore, cool. we can shoot them at many situations. Yeah, directions, yeah. Directions, yeah. Okay. directions. Mm -hmm. so it's easier mm -hmm. to have the grey lags in the flanks mm -hmm. and the Canadians in the middle. Yeah. And here they are. Yeah, here they are. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve grey lags. And the rest are Canadians. That's amazing. Yeah, really good morning. And and it, it's such a fun hunt. And they are so big. So when they land, you hear this boom. It's like it's like a road air landing from the sky. It's it's a really big bird. I mean look at this. Not Exactly this one, but it's huge. It's about a meter in the wingspan. Really big yeah, a really big bird. And they taste good as well. So now we're going to pluck them and um, cut the breast out, right? Exactly. So we can get Eat them, yeah. So now the hard work begins. Mm -hmm. Both birds are very, very tasty, but there is a difference between the meat. The grey lags are better off for stews or roasting in the oven, while the Canadians are better off for sausages and hamburgers and so on. Thank you so much. Thank you. Too. Wonderful. Wonderful. Nice to have you guys here. Yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so lucky. I'm so happy to be here.